Okay, modified F7F Tiger Cat wings. This is the flight line spare pair, spare pair of wings I I got. Uh, these are the wing mechanisms from the 1600 millimeter LX giant folding wing Corsair. I went ahead and retired my Corsair the other day. Finally had all the fun I wanted to have with it. And took all the components off the wing and moved them to this. Been wanting to do this for a while. Anyway, here we go. And back down. Popping you here is the jack screw hitting the top of the spar on one side of them because these wings are a lot thinner than the LX Corsair wing. So I had to make a few more modifications to this than I was expecting to. Uh, on top of that, let me get it here. I went ahead, and if you'll notice right there. I, the spar that runs through this wing, of course, I, na I naturally had to cut it. It's actually right about, the spar is right about there. As a matter of fact, that hole is the center of the spar. So anyway, and the spar ends like right here, and then there's nothing here, and then there's a little spar right here, but there's a jointer tube right here, but they've got it blocked off right here where you can't go all the way through. And they've got it blocked off right here where you can't go all the way through. But what as I did as a safety measure was, I took another carbon fiber rod, rod that's the same inside diameter of this outside spar right here. And, I'm trying to do this and hold the camera at the same time, fits like a champ. The actual spar tube ends right about here. So this much of it is unsparred foam. I just took it and went in the side of this, once I cut this, I went in the side here, sharpened it with, sharpened it so it was razor sharp here at the end, and then drilled out all the way to the wing tip. So now, I can actually slide this carbon spar in here, get up here and get it to where I can do it, slide this carbon spar in here, push it all the way in, and I'm actually going to make a little cap here on the end of it so I can't push it all the way in. And then it joins these two spars back up again here. Um, because I haven't flight tested this and I'm, I'm not sure if it'll, if it'll actually hold on its own in flight like the LX Corsair did. I, I seriously had to shave down this, this, this spar right here and I had to cut this one. This one normally is about this long in a big U shape for the gull wing. But because of its shape, you got to cut it off right there, because it won't it won't fit in this wing. So it's basically all I wanted there was the hinge point. So there's not a whole lot of strength right there, and basically the strength comes from. Let me unplug this wing here. And flip it over. The actual strength right here. This actually ends up doubling like a spar, and you end up this square section right here. I literally had to cut all the way to the top of the wing, just short of poking out of the skin. There's probably like one thirty second left of foam on the other side of this. And then of course moved the servo back here because it, it, it interferes in the, the original stock servo location. The servo has to be moved back about three quarters to an inch uh, in order to put it. Because I've got it mounted at the highest, at the highest point right here, pivot point, on the wing. But... Uh, I went ahead and decided I'd do this so that using this wing in flight, whoops, and I actually got it in there just a little too far. So let's pull it back out here. It actually goes in there quite a ways. It's just a spare, a spare tube I had laying around. And uh, I only needed it to go in so far so it would join these two again, which make, turns this wing back to rock solid with this spar in here. So basically the folding wing mechanism for a nice show and tell and uh, looks re it looks really you know looks really cool and so forth but if you wanted to fly with the wing that's basically all that I had to do. The uh, 
this piece right here is actually mounted right up to the spar. I cut right on the back side of the spar right here and that's the spar trailing along right around here. Covered up the original wire route and moved it to the back side here for the landing light, the wingtip light. Of course the other wing only has one wire. And of course the wire for this and then there will be the wire for the servo that runs along here and all gets connected into connectors in here and we'll come over here to the board when I get a board to put in here and then talk. But anyway, there it is and that's what it looks like sitting down flat. Of course the flap's hanging there and it's pretty solid. I don't have any I don't have any play in it when I got that spar in it. You hear the what you hear is the aileron flapping around. But if I actually see if I can get it here and Yeah, see that's that's still solid. But if I pull the spar out between the two there's just a little bit of wiggle free play. Of course, I'm still dinking around with the joint right here. I need to sand it up. The other wing is actually a little tighter on its own. This was the first wing. So the, the other wing took went along much easier. I actually had to remove components on this one a couple times in order to get them, to, get them positioned just right so that it wouldn't bind up on me. So, But it works. And pretty cool. Now I got to do is get servos and stuff like that and get it repainted. Right now I've got it spackled up and I've got it spackled again because I just got through pulling this piece back off again and I had to grind the top spar, this guy right here that sits on top of it that's normally about that thick is now like really thin. All that basically is is the surface part, this piece right back here is basically not even needed. I didn't, th I didn't know, I thought it might be needed, but you can't, with the thickness of it against the thickness of this, you can, this wing is just not thick enough for it. I have one more set of this folding wing mechanism uh, and so forth from another spare wing, and when I get the um, FMS 16 or 1700 millimeter Tiger Cat. I'm looking to do the same thing except I'm probably going to try and do a two hinge situation here. All I had was the one on here, but this is a big beefy hinge and so forth. So, anyway, there you guys go. There's the wing all full working and folding. I'll plug it in one more time for you here. Uh, of course, you have to have the wing folding mechanism from. Uh, the Alex the wing controller to use as well. Here we go again. Whoops. Kinda helps if you pull the spar out, huh? So we'll pull the spar out so here you'll see it actually retract with the spar in it. Kind of bind, it kind of binded it up when I did that. Anyway, quick home video of it. You guys wanted to see it. Thanks for watching, guys.